Hey, babe. What's up, Anisha? Oh. <laughs> the, the animosity. Just taking down my hair. Recording as well. Oh, yeah? All right, well, I'll holler at you, man. <laughs> How's your day going? It's going. What else you want me to say? You busy. So I'm busy. We gotta figure out dinner. Alright, I'll text you some options. Thanks, dear. Alright, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove um, distressed faux locks and I've actually started to take these down already. I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of share this with you all because honestly, when it came time for me to take my hair down, I didn't know how. I've worn protective styles before like box braids and passion twists and those are pretty easy to remove. You just cut the end off and unravel the hair. But with these, because it's a different kind of hair and you install them differently, when I started to take them out, I literally tried to cut the end and unravel it and I just ended up with a, a total tangled mess. So I watched a few videos and was able to figure out how to remove them and I found a technique that works well for me and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm going to show you what works for me to remove them. Super easy, you only need two things. Well, you actually only need one thing to remove the lock and that's a pair of scissors. But if you're going to take your braids down and detangle your hair, then you're also going to need a comb for that. So let's get right to it. I'm going to zoom in, try to get closer to the camera so you guys can see exactly how I removed them. And yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Hey smileys, I've had these faux locks in for about five months, which is longer than I plan to keep them in, but I got a little comfortable with the idea of not having to fuss and fight with my hair every single day, which is what I love about these long lasting protective styles. The recommended length of time for this style is about three months. Protective styles are meant to promote hair growth and they save time since the entire idea is to touch the hair as little as possible. So as you can see, I have lots of new hair growth. So you want to start by taking the lock and twisting the hair in the opposite direction until you uncover the braid underneath. Once you've found the braid, you want to gently pull it out of the lock like so. Okay, from there you'll use your scissors to cut away the excess hair and finally you want to unravel and remove any remaining hair as seen here. Now this one did take some time, but I was eventually able to get it out. Make sure you're patient and really gentle with your hair. You don't want to yank, pull, or tug at it too much.
but that is all to it. I'm gonna repeat these steps until all lots have been removed. As you can see, my hair has accumulated quite a bit of buildup and I cannot wait to wash and deep condition it. I hope you all found this helpful. Please feel free to post any questions and or comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Mwah.